uh, let, let's work on divisibility rules first and then uh, modulo okay uh, let me tell you first the rules uh, when a divides b we can say uh, as i said the definition of this is b is equal to ak okay it's definition and we can prove the rules only by using this definition so for example a divides zero zero is multiple of all numbers agreed and uh, next one sometimes they say for example a is not zero because zero over zero is undefined right but a is an integer so a integer we can say this now uh, second rule do you agree plus minus one are divisors of all numbers all numbers are multiple of one right or all multiple numbers are multiple of negative one agreed yeah. Third rule, obvious rule, A is always a divisor of A, right? A is multiple of A. Agreed? Okay. So let's continue. Uh, four. If A divides B, you can say A divides... Uh, sign is not important. We can say, for example, A divides negative B. Negative A divides B. Negative A divides negative B, right? Okay, now let me tell you fifth one. If A divides B and B is not zero, then we can say absolute value of A is less than or equal absolute value of B. Means multiples are greater than divisors, right? For example, look, when two divides something, two divides A, A is at least two if A is not zero, right? Okay, or for example, if negative 5 divides A and A is not 0, then we can say A is at least what? 5, right? If A, or we can say, because maybe A is also negative, for example, negative 15. Absolute value of A is at least 5, right? So when B is multiple of A, absolute value of B is greater than equal absolute value of A if B is not 0, right? Okay, these are the rules, and you don't need to memorize them. Okay, I I will tell you because there are two three approaches, uh, like for example remainders, remainders that you should consider. For example, this part equal to zero. For example, this part equal to zero. This is one approach. In divisibility, also we have two three approaches. We will solve problems, and you will get good at them. Okay, only understand these rules. Don't need to memorize. So fifth rule is this. Six rules. A is B, A divides B. We can multiply both sides by B, by K, right? Or for example, by C. We can multiply both sides by C. Or seventh rule. If it is this, you can multiply only this one by C. And let me prove, for example, one of them. You can prove all of them by the definition. Uh, I said that when A divides B, it is equivalent by the defini definition that B is A K, right? Okay, now I want to consider this. I want to prove this. Okay, I say A divides B. So when A divides B, we know that B is AK, right? Yeah. I want to prove that BC is AC times something. So if I multiply both sides by C, BC is ACK. So AC divides by the definition AC divides BC, right? And for example, for this one, if you want to prove this part, you say, okay, A divides B, again, B is AK. Then you multiply both sides by C, so BC is ACK. But because we want to say A divides that, you can say, okay, you can say CK is K prime. So AK prime, BC is A times something. So A divides BC. Understood how we can prove these things? Yeah. Okay. And you can prove, for example, these things, uh, the rest as homework. They are easy. In one minute, you can prove each of them. Next one, if A divides B and A, B divides C, can you conclude? Can you guess that we can conclude what? What divides what? Oh, A divides C. Exactly. And again, you can, and again, you can prove by definition A divides C. And next rule. If A divides B, A divides C, then we can say A divides their product. 
a divides their addition and subtraction. Okay. Now, let me tell you two more rules. Ten. If a divides b and c divides b, can you tell me what divides what? One hint. Oh, would you say that like, AC was a divisor? Of uh, AC, uh, yes. In first uh, step, we think that maybe AC. But let me, for example, if 2 divides B, 3 divides B, we can conclude what divides B. In, in this case, yes, you can conclude 6, right? So I mean, like, B squared. <laughs> no, 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 not B squared. B, because B can be 6, right? Can be 6 and two things, right? B is even, B is also multiple of 3, so B is multiple of 6, what? But it doesn't, like, like all the time. It's not wrong, it's not wrong. You can say 6 divides B squared, but 6 divides B is stronger than that. But if you, like, well, to have the two together, would it, like, ever be, like... But, but, three. always it's not correct, AC. I want to tell you in next example. If 4 divides B, 6 divides B, can you tell me we can conclude what divides B? In this case, we cannot say 24, and it has counter example.
Father, could I say, I'll see you the play. Uh, yes, 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 yes. LCM. Good job. Because 4 and 6, 12, the definition of LCM is this. When a number, for example, like B, is multiple of A and multiple of C, then by definition of LCM, it is definition of LC. B divides LCM of A and C, okay? And makes one, if A divides B and A divides C, C. Then for this one, we can conclude what? What divides what? Is it just B C? Can you say it again? It's a reality. Ah, okay. So let me tell you example. For example, suppose A divides four, A divides six. We can conclude A divides what? Do you agree A is a divisor of 4 and also A is a divisor of 6? So do you agree A is a common divisor, right? So A divides what? GCD or HCF, right? GCD of B and C. Agreed? So here, for example, A divides 2, right? But let me tell you why. Because look, when A is divisor of 4, divisors of 4 are what? Plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, right? For 6, it will be what? Plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 6, right? So because A is a common divisor, A is 1 or 2, 1 or 2, right? So GCD is 2, so A is a divisor of 2, right? Again, this part is definition of GCD, okay? Okay, now I wanted to only mm, mention these rules. Now let's see how we should use something like this for divisibilities. So first one, problem. Suppose 3a plus 4 is multiple of a, for example, plus uh, 5. And a is integer. Then A is what? Find all possible values for A. Okay? Try this one first on your own.
This is six, negative six, six, negative four, negative six. Okay, let me write your answers. Can you say it again? Six. Yes. Negative sixty. Uh, six negative yes. negative sixty. Okay, then what? Oh, sixty. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Negative four and negative six. Negative four and negative six. Okay, let's try together. Let me tell you, you should solve how these types of problems. You say a plus one divides three a plus four, right? Yeah. So I want to get rid of a here. So I say a plus one, five divides a plus five. So if we multiply this right side by three, it divides three a plus 15. Then you can subtract a plus five divides 15 minus four, 11, right? Then you can say, okay, a plus five is a divisor of 11. A plus five is plus minus one, plus minus 11. Then we subtract five from both sides. It will be negative 4, negative 6, 5, and negative 7, negative 16. Uh, let me check it again. Negative 4, negative 6, 5, 11. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. 11 minus 5, 6. Okay, so your, all your answers are correct. Good job. And you use this approach or different approach? Oh, the same. Uh -huh, okay, good job. Now, let's solve... Uh, uh huh. Suppose that uh, three, three a plus four and five a plus seven are multiple of b, are multiples of b, and a and b are integers, then Find B is what? Okay. Try.
Is it plus or minus one? Uh, plus or minus one. Okay, let's check. Okay, so here we can say B D white three A plus four and B D white five A plus seven, right? So I should get rid of A. I should multiply first one by what, second one by what, and then subtract. Five the second one. Five and three. So we can say BD was fifteen A plus twenty and BD was fifteen A plus twenty one. And then if you subtract BD is one, so BD is plus minus one, right? Good job. Okay. Uh finish this part now. You can answer this one easily. Because if you consider this one DD is a